we're going to be looking at geotropism. Geotropism is a plant's response to the stimulus of gravity. Now, first of all, you'd need to state and name the response. So a root would be said to be positively geotropic as it grows towards gravity. You also then need to expand and say why. So why does this happen? And of course, the purpose of the root is to find water and also anchor the plant in the soil. And you need to expand on that. So the water, of course, is needed for photosynthesis. And why does the plant carry out photosynthesis? So that it can produce its own energy to then carry out all the other living processes. Okay, so for the how, um, we're going to start off talking about auxin. So auxin, you've already met in phototropism, and auxin is the growth hormone involved in geotropism as well. Now it behaves slightly differently in the roots and the shoots, so I'm just going to show you how this works. So I've just pre-drawn a broad bean seed, but I've placed it on its side. So if we look at what's going to happen for the root, the root will start growing first before the shoot because it needs to get water first. So the root will come out of the seed and start heading downwards a bit like this. Okay. Now, what auxin does is it actually accumulates, so you'll get lots of it along this side here, on the underside of the, um, the lower side of the root. Now, as it accumulates, it actually does the opposite to what it does in the shoot. It inhibits the growth, which means that the cells at the top here, they are going to grow quicker and actually elongate. And that's why it can then bend downwards. However, in the shoot, what we're going to find happen is this. OK, now in shoots like it did for phototropism, the auxin um, it will accumulate again on this lower side, around this area here, but it still accumulate. Um, it still, sorry, elongates the cells on this side. So roots it inhibits, but shoots it does cause elongation. So on the lower side here of the shoot, we will see more auxin accumulate, and those cells on that side will elongate, and that means that the shoot can then bend upwards trying to obviously search for the light but when the soil is at when it's in the actual soil the seed can't detect the light so it is relying just on geotropism this is just a little bit of information on auxins like what they are and um, what they do in both the root and the shoot so see if you can have a go at copying and completing and filling in the gaps and then when you've done that um, so stop this, pause this, and then you can carry on and check your answers next. So this is the same information, um, but the gaps are filled in this time. So once you've written your copy and complete out, you can check that you've got your answers correct. And then lastly, there's a little copy and complete for you to just show that you've understood what we've just talked about in terms of geotropism. So if you want to make some notes and then um, see if you can fill in the gaps. So pause this and then play again when you're ready to check your answers. So this is the same information. So you should be able to read through this now and check that you've managed to fill in the gaps correctly. And hopefully you should now have a bit of an understanding about how geotropism works in both the roots and the shoots.